Welcome to another ranking video and today we're ranking the mighty Ukrainian band Hate Forest. One of my favourite bands in the genre and just like my actual favourite black metal band of all time, Drudk, which I always pronounce wrong. This is probably one of the hardest rankings I've ever had to do because every album is so consistent. None of these albums I hate. The last place is still fantastic. The last place is still great. So this was really hard painstaking task but we did it and I'm here to show you what I think is my least favorite all the way up to my favorite release by this band so just like all these ranking videos let me know down below because it's mainly about you guys I want to hear what you think is the best album by the band and how you would rank the discography because it's bloody ridiculous but yeah let's get in with it with my least favorite and that is Battlefields Here on this battlefield is lost. Different band. This album's great. This album is such a different album compared to all the other um, Hate Forest albums. There's only like three songs or something on it. They're all lengthy, like 10 minutes long. And it's a much doomier and darker atmosphere compared to a lot of the other albums. I do love the change of pace on it. The, the long songs, the, it is it is so evil sounding. If you pick the most evil sounding Hate Forest album, it's Battlefields. It's fantastic. These songs slay, but it just doesn't have the sheer ferocity and intensity all the way through like every other album they've done. This one is, I mean, it's still ferocious, but it is more long and drawn out a little bit. And the main criticism with this album is all the little interludes and they have interludes in all the albums, but this one, there's quite a lot of them, and it's all like these traditional folk uh, little interludes with the female singing, and it kind of throws off the mood. It works in some of the other albums, definitely works with Drudk, but on this album, like this more doomy, evil, dark sounding album, it kind of throws it off. Because you've got these 10 minute long songs, which are like, holy shit, it's fantastic, and then it goes into some folk melody, and I'm like, what? <laughs> Bit weird. That's the only criticisms I can have. The songs in here are bloody fantastic. Like the actual songs are bloody fantastic. Cool sound, just different for them. So yeah, it, it's last place, but it doesn't mean it's bad. Still a great album. Next up is the latest one, which I did a review of recently, Innermost. Um, it's coming lower down on the list, mainly because I haven't had as much time with it. I've listened to it shitloads. I even did a review, went through every single song. So I'll link that in the description so you can check that review out. It's a tired review of Satanic War Masters, latest album, Amon Gonda. Um, I love it. Innermost is great. The melodies are fantastic. It's punchy from start to finish. It definitely finish. It definitely finishes. It definitely feels like a lot of the other albums in the catalog, aside from Battlefields. Um, I know some people in the Discord say that this is better than Hour of the Centaur, but it's it's very fucking close. These two are very close for me. The starting song on this album, ooh, those who howl in the snowstorm. What a way to kick it off straight away. Ferocity in your face, and then. And then the closing track, Solitude in Starry December, is probably my favourite on the album. Such a beautiful song, that one. If you want to see my full review, check in the description. Love this album. So yeah, next up, of course, is Hour of the Centaur, which is another amazing album. And I reviewed this one like two years ago. I think it was like, I think it was Christmas Day I put the review up. Something stupid like that. They keep releasing albums at the end of the year, which is good. It's good. It's a nice little present. Christmas time. This one, just the melodies for me, just hit a little bit more than on Innermost. Maybe it's because I've had extra year with it. Um, so maybe Innermost will rise, but this one's still as ferocious. Just a bit more, I don't know, just like the melodies a little bit more on this one. And it has one of the greatest song names in the entirety of fucking metal. Shadowed by a veil of Scythian arrows. How fucking sick is that? How fucking sick? And the song itself... 10 out of 10. Give it a listen.
yeah, overall, this album's just beautiful. It pains me to put anything lower down for this band because very consistent and very concise. And I, I adore this album. Bloody good. Ooh, the most ancient ones is next. This one is the debut. Uh, I know they have Cypher, that's a, that's a demo album. We're not including demo albums or EPs or splits, just the full lengths. And uh, the most ancient ones is just terrifying. It starts off with these like menacing screams right away, kind of feeling like a demon's ready to just snatch you away into hell. Beautiful opening, carries on the intensity all throughout. It's one of the classics, you know, a lot of people would have this number one. For me, it's like mid. Um, I mean, the rating wise, it'd be like nine out of 10, but in context of the rest of the albums, mid for me at the moment. But the sheer ferocity and the sheer just evil nature of this album is just mm, chef's kiss. Now this one, I feel like the production is a is not my favorite compared to all the others. It's not my favorite kind of production. I do feel like they improved on it in the next couple of albums and I'm not saying that I dislike raw production because I fucking love raw production. I don't even love it on this album, but it's a bit murky. It's a bit murky sounding compared to purity or sorrow or, or anything like that. I don't, I can't quite put my finger on it. It's just a bit more, it's kind of like Nile. You know Nile. Uh, the debut, it kind of feels like that kind of murky production compared to like Annihilation of the Wicked or the ones that come after it. Not saying anything that comes after it is clean production or overproduced or anything like that, because it's fucking not. It's a different kind of raw. Maybe I'm talking out my fucking ass, but to me, listening to this, then listening to Purity, one after the other, you can definitely tell the difference. You can definitely hear a bit better on Purity. So that's like a very minor nitpick, like sound-wise. Um, and I, I fucking love Raw Black, man. Like Vlad Tepes, fucking Mutilation, just dark, early Dark from Transylvania Hunger is my favourite. That's raw as shit, but it's just the sound-wise. I don't know. It's hard to it's hard to explain. Okay, Questy ain't good with words. Yeah, Questy ain't good with words, but I do prefer the sound of all the other albums. Maybe I'm a fucking hypocrite. Who cares? It's here on the list. Still love it. Still great songs, and I'll give you a little taster. Fantastic album. It's a classic for a reason. It's f fucking good. So number two is Sorrow. Oh my god. This could easily be number one. It's such a sorrowful album. Not really. It's a very heavy album. Blast beats out the fucking ass. Holy shit, it's Blast Beat Central over here. This one. This one is a bloody masterpiece. Mixing the intensity and the beauty together. The melodies on here, so serene. Song Fog, oh boy, Fog is just beautiful. So good. Yeah, every song on here just kicks you in the balls and doesn't let go until your balls fly at your eyeballs. Your eyeballs are replaced with your testicles. I don't know what your eyeballs are, they're like flying around the fucking streets. But yeah, love this album. Sorrow is a beautiful album and it's one of my favourite black metal albums of all time, but it's not my number one hate forest album because that is probably correct. You've probably seen from the, uh, the thumbnail, probably got it on. It's purity. Purity is my favourite. It's nice and pure. <laughs> I adore Purity. The day, the second album, sorry, and it improves on so much from the debut. Like, the sound wise, perfection, the mixing, perfection, the melodies, even better. Oh my god. The sheer intensity on this album as well is unparalleled. It's intense fucking the whole way through. Every song's just a 10 out of 10. The mood on it, the atmosphere, so good. 
Yeah, it's too many good, too many good fucking songs on this one as well. The Immortal Ones, like that intense fucking opening to that. Holy shit. And you got like Elder Race, which is also one of my favorite songs they've done. Banger after banger on this album. It's a full package, sound wise, vocal wise. I haven't even talked about the vocals. Um, It's more death metal sounding vocals, gargled kind of like demon vocals as opposed to the shrieks. And I like the shrieks more. But I think it works with Hate Forest, it's a nice change of pace, so do enjoy the uh, vocals on Hate Forest. But yeah, Purity is my favourite Hate Forest album of all time. So, let me know what you thought of this ranking down below. Do you hate it? Do you fucking hate me? <laughs> let me know down below. Um, what's your favourite Hate Forest album? What's your least favourite? Let me know and we'll see you again on another Quest for Metal.